somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer i'm the appleton oak and today we are diving back into the world of god of war oh my god the first three have been amazing and we heard some of you guys in the comments saying watch the psp ones well hey we saw some cut scenes i think we need to watch them just to help us a little bit more but don't worry god of war 2018 is coming in i gotta tell you i'm psyched yeah i am so excited to get started with the game um everybody in the comments kind of saying the same thing but look, the more God of War content I can consume, mm -hmm. the better. I've been having a great time. And the biggest thing people said is, hey, if you watch these other ones, you're going to learn a little bit more about the background of it all and have a little bit better understanding going into God of War 2018. So I'm here for it. But yes, we are playing the game. It's coming soon. A few more orders oh. of business. But and uh, I am uh, definitely ready, willing, and able. Yeah. So <laughs> with, yeah, I almost did. So with that, let's go. We also want to thank, once again, Gamers Little Playground for providing the cutscenes. They do great work. If you aren't subscribed to them yet, go right ahead. Suffering for years. Oh, Kratos, <laughs> the <ones played laughs> oh and they got her again for even the PSP games. The ghost of Sparta had pledged himself as a champion to the gods of Olympus. In return, he hoped only to rid himself of the nightmares that haunted him for far too long. But for now, his only respite, his only relief from the sins of his past, was found in the heat of battle. <laughs> you know, I never played PSP. I had never PSP. I had it. To confront an unthinkable evil. I had it. On the city of Attica by the invading Persian army. All right, so uh, I had PSP, I had Spider-Man 2 on it, Spider-Man 2 the movie, because that came with it, and then I had uh, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, I believe I had. I'm curious to see how the, the game play is going to look. So PSP was like right between PS2 and PS3, so it had really good graphics. It was basically a portable PlayStation 2. Oh, looks like a scorpion from Game of Thrones. <laughs> you know, take care of these jabronis first, right? It's got the flashing light on it, which I mean, I'm guessing means, uh... Ah, just... <laughs> Gives the old kick. Oh! Oh, that is awesome. Oh, took the front half of that ship off. Front third. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Oh, that's interesting. You've seen in the other games, he, those chests usually give him stuff. Oh! Oh! What is this troll. guy? Oh, circle, 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 circle. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like what? second. Oh! What is that? And here I was worried about the other thing. Yeah, no, I was going to say, is that something that's helping him, but... Apparently not. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, right in the knot. Oh, Max. This is intense mm. right off the gate. And just imagine being like on. Your school bus going like playing this. Just oh, going. Look at that. Just going ham. Ah, oh, oh. smash! That's it. And just how much they pack too in that little UMD. Ultra. Oh, that thing's breathing fire. Maybe not. Just looked like it with the fireballs coming in behind it. Ooh. This is a heavy, heavy assault. Mm hmm So my guess is you follow the trail of blood. The old battering ram. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you didn't quite take care of that guy, huh? Actually, look and see if I can find my PS. You don't, you don't know if you have it around. At all? I think I think I have it somewhere. Like I found my Game Boy Advance. <laughs> hey, better guy from Lord of the Rings. City Persian. Evil? It is not evil that I bring, Spartan. I bring the might of Persia and the sacrament of purification. As we speak, my basilisk cleanses this land so that it may embrace the glory of the Persian Empire. Olympus has sent a message, and I am here to deliver it. <laughs> then you are just a messenger. So take this message back to your little gods. It will take more than a pathetic Spartan to stop the power of the Empire. Those are fighting words, man. Whoa! Okay, so you got one main enemy and three, like, side Whoa. enemies it's got to take on. Okay, so dude's got, like, a power. I'm trying to pay more attention to, like, the attacks and stuff. Like, I don't think I paid too much attention to that in the last game. Oh, well, we saw some of the comments where they're like, uh... The way that these guys have been playing it, they make it look a little easier than what it is. Yeah. <laughs> but so, Please, we're ready for the challenge. Life, and I will give you all that you ask. You have nothing I want, Persian. Take my kingdom, my women, my gold. <laughs> I won't take your riches, but I will take your life. Oh! He's gonna smash him with the chest. Oh, yeah, that, that'll do it. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go round two with that thing? I guess so. Alright. I thought it smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> Circle! Oh yeah, I guess you gotta wait. You gotta get right up there first. Oh! Oh, nice! Oh, oh there you go. Oh! You must like concussion there. Uh oh! 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 <laughs> well, yeah, and the PSP was like this. They only had one L1. Oh, okay, so it was one on the PSP. Yep. Ugh. Oh, now it's doing two fireballs. Oh, gotcha. Ooh, good thing he dove. He's getting roasted a little. This guy did it better than what Mason Quinn does for fishing. <laughs> Alright, guy's not here to defend himself. Can't, can't be taking shots at him. This is intense. I can just picture me playing this on a plane, just going nuts on the controller. <laughs> gotcha, bitch! <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 hey, 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 sir. Oh, did you see what I just did? But this small victory would not satisfy the man who had come to be known 
as the ghost of Sparta. Is this all you would have me do? Is there nothing else? Is there no one else? Are you not entertained? Oh, I forgot. Some of these guys haven't haven't seen that one. Oh, whatever you reference. Because I reference Gladiator, which we have. I was not referencing Gladiator. Seeing the sun plummet through the sky and the world plunge into darkness, Kratos knew this was not a sign from the gods. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What treachery is this? Setting his sights on the glowing horizon, Kratos made his way toward the mysterious light. But there was more afoot than Kratos could possibly know. darkness, Morpheus, the god of dreams, awakened oh. from a world where he and only he wielded power. The land was slowly overrun by a black fog that engulfed everything it touched. The power of Morpheus affected even Kratos mm -hmm. as he was haunted by a strange melody. And as Kratos approached the temple, it became clear that the task ahead was more than he could have ever imagined. What is that? Once again, the strange, lingering melody could be heard through the black fog of Morpheus, haunting Kratos. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, this guy's a little, a little rougher. Oh! That reminds me of the head of the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Kratos stood was the sun chariot of Helios, the very chariot that the fire steeds pulled across the sky every day, allowing the brilliance of Helios to shine down on all mankind. Kratos. Athena, what madness has mm. befallen us? Kratos, there is not much time. Olympus needs you. I grow tired of the gods' request, Athena. I have given enough. Now take these nightmares from my head! It is not for you to say when your servitude ends. You will earn your freedom in time. But for now, Olympus needs your unquestioning obedience. The god of the sun has been torn from the sky. This temple on which you stand is the chariot of Helios. Without their master to reign them, the fire steeds have driven the sunshine into the earth. And without Helios, there is no one to keep Morpheus from seizing permanent power. Oh, we can't have Many that. Of the gods nope. have fallen into a deep slumber. Soon, all will succumb to the black grip of Morpheus. That's not good. What would you have me do? You must find oh, him and return him to the sky. Lest the world of gods and men be lost forever. Only his light can release the grasp of Morpheus. Athena! Athena! <sighs> wow, no pressure yeah. at all. Zero. If you can't do it, the, the fate of the gods and humans, I mean, it's pretty much over for everybody, so. Can't have Morpheus have all that power. I am grateful you, you only want him to have the Sparta. red or blue pill. Oh, the Titan Atlas has been freed from the pits of Tartarus <laughs> and has taken my brother Helios from his rightful place in the sky. What does Atlas want with the Sun God? 
Helios holds within him the power of the sun. A power so great it can destroy the world. It cannot be trusted in the hands of a titan. Please, take the sun shield from his throne. Walk through the gates of Olympus, and you will find me. Hurry, Kratos. Even now, my brother suffers at the hand of Atlas. Alright, so we gotta go get that shield. <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna jump it. I thought he was gonna swing over it too, yeah. Oh. You gotta learn how to use it. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, nice! Stepped out into the eternal night. Much had changed outside the temple. Morpheus grew ever stronger as his hard angels and darkness continued their relentless march. No. Oh. oh, look at that thing. It's like an old saber toothed tiger. Oh! Poor little guy just wanted a home for the night. So I see the, like the, uh, not the damage meter for the main guys. Obviously that's kind of the same, but as far as whatever that is in the upper left hand side, that seems to have pretty much stayed the same mm. since um, the first three games. Yeah. Cause that was what was nice about PSP is, I mean, there were a few games that were just ports, but a lot of them were original games. Oh, what's that? Nice, uh, hidden staircase. Oh, he's walking with Peyton. It's like Ghostbusters too. He, it's full of evil. Got some slime. Whoa! Look at this place. You know, if the goal was to maintain structural integrity, I don't know that carving those things out <laughs> and reducing the amount of stone. Now, Sorry. Jeff. Don't carve too much. Goddess of so plates could come of down. Helios sat above him, visibly weakened by the absence of the sun. All glory be to Lord Zeus for granting you safe passage to me. The king of the gods does not aid me, Eos. Yep. I am but a slave to Zeus and Olympus. Save my brother, Kratos. And he will convince Zeus to release you and rid you of the horrors of your past. I give you my word. The gods have broken their word to me many times. Forgive me if I find it hard to believe your promises. Be that as it may, Kratos. The primordial fire is almost out. Without Helios, the life-giving light of the world cannot be sustained. If you do not find him, only darkness and death awaits all of us. Yeah, we, we got that. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, it's pretty bad. It's <laughs> everything. I do not know, Kratos. Follow the passage out of the cave. Retrieve the fire and it will light your path to the remaining steeds. They will guide you to their master. 
They will take you to my brother. May you go with the speed of Hermes, Ghost of Sparta. Drop a comment if you had this game when you were younger and like your parents or something saw you playing and were like, oh, oh hey, oh, whoa, well, this would be funny with this version PSP because like they'd have to be looking over your shoulder playing yeah, yeah. it. I'll just picture part. like playing it on a plane. Oh, what you got there? You know, like, oh, uh, nothing. Well, the melody's back. Again. I was watching uh, a show on Hulu that had a party scene and while I was watching it on my iPad while donating plasma. <laughs> I'm sitting there with skips! It was from then on that I always made sure I was in the corner. God. Just in case. Just in case. I was watching, uh. Uh. The Path with uh, Aaron Paul. I haven't seen it. That was a Hulu what original. What is going on here? Just firing it. Yeah, that back. must be like that's. Yeah, bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah, I mean they haven't learned. They keep throwing it at him. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, he, he won't catch it the third time, will he? <laughs> Which I'm sure though, as some players, I mean this person was pretty good. Like, let us know if the, if that messed you up. Like you get. You know, one or two, and then the third one, I'll doing you take it. Another hidden door? Oh, of course. What do we got here? Whoa, had to put all the statues. Had to put statues in spots. Oh, whoa, that's so freaking cool. Oh, uh, circle, 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 circle. Oh, right to the horse. Oh, is that horse going to come alive? Holy shit, it is. Rat Donkey GT? Oh, no, it's rising up. Oh, it's Donkey Plus. <laughs> Donkey GT Plus. GTR. <laughs> Donkey GT Max. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. I went away. What is? Gotta go get that back up. Well, at first, I thought he disappeared. <laughs> oh no! Interesting. I mean, these games just for, like, art direction and stuff are just masterpieces. Yeah, they really are. Who I mean, thinks of this stuff? You know, like... Well, then they think of it, and then the other guy, the other people involved, they're the ones that they have to make this come to they life. They have to create it, right? Like, somebody has to write the story, and then you have to visualize it. He was it's just amazing. Of Morpheus, and again, he heard the haunting melody. But this time, he recognized it as the song of his oh. daughter, Calliope. Calliope? My daughter, where are you? Calliope! Oh, those aren't his daughter. Oof.
Oof, doing work. Oh, those things again. Oh! That's his, uh, big move in this one, too. He is working on something big here with all these lights he's got. No kidding. Well, he's got to get out of the Morpheus's dream. Wasn't ready for that. The whole thing took off like a freaking spaceship. <laughs> the fire steeds. Kratos was now oh, the fire steeds. Where are those in Red Dead? Whoa. Yeah, we didn't get fire steeds, did we? Him, he did not know. Fire steeds. Oh, nice. I like that they do these little animations, too. Oh, that too. is really cool. Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, you Kratos away from the grip of Morpheus, they crossed into the underworld. But in the land of the dead, they could go no further, for these beings of light were not welcome in Hades. Oh no, 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 no! He's got us some unbelievable upper, upper strength. Just, just diving always. those blades right into rocks. I don't know what kind of metal those are made out of. I mean, granted, he's got those Kratos chains forever linked in on wall Hades, at this point the in the story. Where no mortal had set foot. Here, where the souls of the dead walk their fated path, Kratos knew that for him, this was merely the beginning. See the facial hair? We got just a little. What all this now? No, it's a little scruff. Some people had asked in the comments if I was going to cosplay as Kratos for uh, Fan Expo Chicago coming up in uh, August. Well, let's just say he's been meal planning. <laughs> not, a, not an easy, not an easy cosplay to pull off. Oh, I, I, I'm not even throwing shit at you. I can only imagine. I just wonder, like, man, the, the full body paint has got to be time consuming. Oh, look at that. Ugh. to the Olympians. I am a slave to no one, Charon. We share a common fate, Kratos. The gods will release neither of us from our torture. Oh. Be gone. That's, uh... It's not yet your time. Well, King Viserys from uh, House of the Dragon Season 1 with his gold mask on. <laughs> yeah, and they had about the same amount of face left, too, huh? So, is this supposed to be the Grim Reaper with, uh... 
with his blade there, the fairy man, taking you across. He's in across from the land of the living, from the land of the dead. Is that what yeah. this is representative of? Remember, no mortal has set foot in Hades. Yeah. That suck. You're just about getting a big combo up. He just disappears. Oh, look at his power went all the way back up. Ugh. Can't let him get away like that. Oh, he's... Oh, boy. He's supposed to lose that, I guess? Ugh. Is that uh, how that's supposed to play out? Yeah, I mean, it uh, must be. Otherwise, you get, like, a game over. Oh, L1R1, L1R1. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. But they would have used it. Where stronger the chains. <laughs> in the pits of Tartarus. Same Where chains that Hercules and Ultimate Warrior had. Deep throughout the bowels of the underworld. Oh, come on. I was just going to say it's the Infinity Club. <laughs> Where are the stones? Now, granted, this came out before that, but... What year was this? Oh, uh, I'd have to look, but I think it was, like... If it's PSP, it's... Uh, the, it's before 2010s. We'll double-check when we look. Guess we should have before. Pop! Relieved of your head. Oh, here we go. Give me that gauntlet. No! Oh, oh, look at that! It's got, his, that. It's got his Nintendo power mitt. Or power glove. Kick headbutt action. I love the headbutt front kick. That move. is a great combo. I don't, it's not the old the old standard front kick to the sternum. That's not a move you see a lot in games. Yeah, I mean I've never seen that in like UFC front kick headbutt. Uh, you're not allowed to headbutt in UFC. You're allowed to front kick, it's just, uh... Kratos oh, before there goes my way in. ...of the old rulers of Earth, the mighty Titans. Defeated by the gods and enchained in the depths of Tartarus, they suffered their unjust penance. And for their torment, it was well known that these immortal beings hated the Olympians with immeasurable fury. It looks like our boy Kronos before yeah. he had the, the, the mountain placed on his back. Yeah, he it does have that, does give me that vibe. Um... I mean, it, it could be a Titan. Oh, there's another one to get. By the hands of Zeus, the Titans had been bound and shackled in their torment for a thousand years, with no hope of escape. Now the chains that once Until... held the Titan Atlas lay broken. Oh, and Atlas. only one question plagued the thoughts of Kratos. Who would release such evil? <laughs> Just punches the gate open with a big old glove. You again. The walls of Tartarus would not hold Atlas, and they would not hold me either. The gods have obviously taken pity on their slaves. You underestimate me, Charon. 
This time I will not be so merciful. Yeah, we won't let you get back to that. The green flames back there, we got all your strength back. Yeah, maybe that's the ticket, not letting him get back there, or maybe this is meant to play out like this is gonna well, happen. Well, I'm, I'm figuring that, so I'm just wondering if now they give you the mini game like they usually do with other bosses in this series, where you take out, like, a side thing of theirs. Ah, see, that's why they had you had us do that prior. Oh. Listen to me say us like we're playing it right now. Us, a team. This is a team effort. It's like when you watch uh, your favorite football team and you use the word we. Oh, we need to do better than that. Oh, I, I am one of those guys. Not gonna lie. Oh, doing work. Uh oh. Oh, he's powering back up. See, just oh, you gotta break it. There we, there we go. Now he's back at half. Man, the green fire is gone. Oh, oh, took his helmet off. Oh, oh that'll do it. Or not? He must. Oh, that's his mask. Wait a minute. Is that just his top half? Yeah, just his top half. All right, where we're going, we don't need legs. And uh -oh. uh, apparently, oh. this is wild. <laughs> just wasn't expecting that. Circle, 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 circle. <laughs> we're sitting there on the plane. Ah, that's aggressive. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's a badass ship. Having defeated Charon, Kratos journeyed deeper into Hades and closer to his goal. For in the distance, the bright light of Helios illuminated all of the underworld. But something on the shore caught his attention. And to Kratos, it almost seemed an apparition. Calliope! Upon seeing his death, oh. Kratos realized that all that he had been working for, all that he had wanted, was within reach. Years of service to the gods had not delivered him from his pain. Never had it used oh. the burden of his past. And now, Calliope was found. Oh no. I do not have a good feeling about this. I don't like where this is headed. Fighting multiple enemies of different types at once. Something that seems like it's kind of a recurring thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was... Yeah, it looked like he was charging something up. Never seen Kratos just like normally enter a door. Like either... you walking in buildings and red that. Oh yeah. Put he... that shoulder down or give it a good old forearm shiver. Yeah, he, old... he's he's punching it. He's kicking it. Calliope, where are you? Kratos looked, but his daughter was nowhere to be seen. In the middle of the room sat a graceful figure. A figure he recognized all too well. Persephone, wife of Hades, 
a queen of the undead. Where is my daughter, witch? Choose your words carefully, ghost of Sparta. Oh, 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 oh. Address the goddess of the underworld. Straight out of the 300. Your daughter is well. She lives among the pure souls in the Elysian fields. Lead me to her. Have you forgotten, Kratos? The Olympians need you. They slumber at the hand of Morpheus. I have faithfully served the gods, yet they do not give me what I ask. I grow weary of their demands. The gods on Olympus failed me too, Kratos. I was betrayed by Zeus and tricked by my husband Hades. Now I am to stay in the underworld as queen of the dead. That sucks. To serve the mm. fallen and care for them as my own children. Persephone! I demand to see my daughter! As you wish. If Calliope is your true desire, I can help you. Um, be warned, Ghost of Sparta. As it says, the world of man will suffer because of your choice. I care little for the world and its suffering. Where is she? If you are to see your daughter again, you must become worthy of Elysium. Cast your weapons at the Forsaken Tree, and let it release the evils of your past. Only then will you be free of your sins. That's and it? Be granted it's uh, just a tree? Divine gates. Throw my weapons at the tree? Well, I suppose in a circumstance in which he's in, getting rid of your weapons puts him in a pretty vulnerable state. He says, no, I'm just gonna bust the shit out of the tree. <laughs> oh, look at it, it went all the way down to zero. Look at his red marks are gone. Yeah, look at all of his blue has been drained. So then it had you, each way that you've been button mashing throughout it, it has you do it. You have done well, Kratos. Walk through the portal and find the one you seek. Calliope! Father? My oh. child. Why did you go? I am here now, child. And I will not leave you again. I have watched over you pathetic mortals for a thousand years, and it is always the same. Serving yourself before the needs of others has oh. always been flawed. But no matter. For now, you serve my purpose. It is time for all that came before to end. The Titan will fulfill his role and finish what I have started. I released Atlas. You. As you were pathetically disarming yourself, <laughs> Atlas completed the task I set him out to do. With the power of the sun in his hands, it is only a matter of time before he destroys the pillar that holds the world. Uh -oh. And Olympus with it. But why? Do you think it was my choice to wed a man I did not love? Live a life I did not choose? Hmm. I mm -hmm. was betrayed by the very gods that once saw me as their own. But no more. Once the pillar is destroyed, the world will revert into chaos. And what is to become of you? I will have my peace and be free from this miserable existence. I will perish, but it is my choice. Father, what's happening? I'm scared. In your selfish choice to be with your daughter, you have caused her ruin. No. Elysium falls too, Kratos. She will perish. No! I will not let the gods take her from me again! Yeah, what are you gonna do? He's, he's, he's released all of his powers at this point. The choice was clear to him, yet impossible to make. To stay with his daughter meant the end of the world and the end of her. To stop Persephone and Atlas would mean forsaking his daughter forever. Persephone. 
while his hatred and anger for the guards grew ever stronger, he knew there was but one thing to do. Wait, you're doing button mashing to push your daughter away? That's an interesting, uh, That's a interesting new one. button mash. I know if you just tap circle on Madden, Jeez, that spin a, move. Come on, I you know. Him. Pull her away. Oh. Because he know, uh, he's got to know that that's not really his father. Or really his daughter, Emma. Oh! oh he's got to start getting some of that power back. Okay, just run Kratos around. Kratos soon realized that what he gained in humanity, he lost in power. Come here. He would need to become the monster he once was if he was to defeat Persephone. Oh, he still doesn't have his markings yet, though. There's red on him. Oh. He wants to skip past it. He had a. So is that what you had to do? Is basically just take out a bunch of these, a bunch of those people and. At that moment, Kratos knew his destiny was not with Calliope. The fates were never that kind. this fight go down Spartan witness the end whoa oh what a badass she just turned into that helmet is so cool all right I guess I'll so I'll just hang on here whoa there's Atlas trying to destroy the pillar. Oof. Oof. I can only imagine how frustrating this one must have been for people. It's getting worked pretty good. Say what well, I'm like wondering too, because on the outside there's like the <laughs> Atlas is doing the work outside. Is his hand gonna come in and like all of a sudden grab you? Oh, nice. Oh, got him. Go to her. Be with her. Leave this world behind. Whoa, what did she just do there? Oh! Oh. Oh, better get those QTs areas. Oh, look at it. We're going to put you where we end up finding you. Holding up the pillar. That's Hold awesome. Oof. It's getting close. Oh. <laughs> Fighting back much right now, is she? Uh, she must have been a little knocked silly for a little bit. No. Oh. Their Get health alert. is getting down too. Look at that. Oh, nice. All right, catch. All right. 
returning some fire finally. Oh, there you go, worker, worker. Oh. Do a Superman punch. Yeah, oh, <laughs> close. Your suffering will never end, Ghost of Sparta. Well, I guess what you got to do now, Alice. Talk to you later. <laughs> Rough. Perhaps you believe the Olympians will help you. But I ask, where? Gods now, Kratos. Why do they not come to your aid? I do not need the aid of the gods! But my path is now clear to me. I will serve them! And they will keep their promise to free me from my past! I ask you, Spartan, what good is the promise of an Olympian? It is all I have, Atlas! We will meet again, Spartan. The fates have deemed it. It's cool how they have Atlas holding One up the... Day, you know, like, the, you we always see the depictions of Atlas. Well, and how we saw him in the game already. When, uh, the lovely Michael Clark Duncan the was the voice. Atlas was left in chain. Cursed to forever hold the world on his shoulders. Greater penance than even Zeus himself had placed on the Titans. Yeah. <laughs> the fate of Atlas had been sealed, and the goddess Persephone was no more. Kratos had saved mankind, but that mattered little to him. No. By forsaking his daughter, he had abandoned the only person he ever cared for. What he had long sought and finally found was now forever lost. That's going to create some internal conflict. Higher in the sky, and the might of Helios shone once again on the world. Morpheus retreated to the shadows. Kratos gained little satisfaction from his victory. With years of servitude in front of him, he would need to confront his past and fight to reclaim the humanity he lost on the day his dark legend was born. The dire toll of his relentless battles finally caught up with him as Kratos fell from the chariot to the earth. Was this sacrifice too much for one to bear? Even for the man who was known. We sure see this guy falling a lot. Don't no, we? I, every falling game cliffs falling into Hades. Or oh, the underworld. Oh, oh, right on a rock. No, no, it wasn't. They it stopped him and then put him down. I know. I thought the same. So I was gonna do the Spider-Man Two. My back, well, my back. Athena. He is a remarkable man. He is weak. Shall we help him? He'll live. <laughs> Thanks. They must. Uh, I like how they did that because then he reverts back to just his original powers in the next game. There it is, and there it was. Yeah. Oh man, that was fun. Yeah, that was Damn. that was pretty. That was pretty excellent. You know, I, we had said when we kicked this things off, or this thing off rather, that you know, kind of my main thing um, with with wanting to watch this was just getting 
more backstory and more content. So, um, you know, we, we learned that there's even more internal conflict than uh, previously thought. Of course, um, we learned in the gameplay from parts one, two, and three. 2008. Uh, what happened with, uh, you know, his wife and his daughter. So obviously very powerful scenery to see him have an opportunity to reunite with his daughter, but then have to have that um, cut very, very short, um, especially when he promised her that he was never going to leave her again. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's that's like the tough thing. I found you. She's upset. I'll never leave you again. And then he has to, to get Helios and get uh, – Basically, we get the sun back up in the sky. But um, another, I, I look, I I really like the uh, the mythology. I think it's very interesting. I think the stories are incredible. Um, so this, on top of being, you know, obviously cool gameplay and you know, cool visuals, it's it's a it's a cool story that um, that's relatable from other things that um, that we've seen, whether it be in in books or pop culture and, and stuff like that. So. Another really cool playthrough, not uh, not uh, quite as, as long, obviously, as you yeah. get from a regular game, but um, from my understanding of PSP, everything was kind of condensed. Uh, yeah, there, uh, like, actually, I had it queued up uh, where a PlayStation Portable was because he, I had one uh, for a while, like, I didn't play it too much, but that's essentially what it was. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with what okay. it was, and yeah, I'm familiar, I just never played one, and I know that the, um, you know, the, 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 obviously, the directional pad, the buttons pad, I didn't know there was an L1 and yeah, an R1 that's on what top. I, that's what um, I that so there, you know. controls wise, other and than the- This is, a, this is actually the joystick. Right yeah, so yeah. control wise, other than a- um, We're looking at one. Right? There's no, yeah, so we're looking at a PSP, so there's no right joystick. Um, and I think they came with that for when they did the PlayStation Portable, the Vita, the PlayStation okay. Vita. They, I think they had both. I'm not for okay. certain. So no, no L2 and R2 mm -hmm. and no, um, no right joystick. But otherwise, similar, you know, controls is what you'd get from a PlayStation controller, which I think is, is pretty cool. I mean, you get, you get pretty used to, you know, the, the, the muscle memory of the controllers. It's, mm -hmm. it's crazy when you play a game enough and, and anybody who's done gaming, even, even for us, when we, you know, we're, you know, with, with red dead, it was, it's like a lot of like so much muscle memory. And when I go back and forth, so I do, um, Hogwarts legacy on an Xbox yep. and, um, uh, red dead redemption on a PlayStation. And every, every time I go back and forth, it takes, gotta, for those of anybody who's watched my Hogwarts legacy play alongs, usually that first battle, it's a little, it's oh. a little bit like, okay, it's a little bit rough or dueling as they call it in Hogwarts legacy, um, is a little bit rough, but so I, I just wanted to point out, I thought it was cool for the PSP to, to essentially have a, a very similar controls layout that, uh, somebody would have with a PlayStation, but yeah, never, never, never played it, but, uh, a lot of PlayStation, PlayStation, actually a lot of PlayStation. I never, pl I never really played the original PlayStation much, two, three, four, five but never the original too much i had them all i was uh number six of eight at the old chilton walmart for playstation <laughs> 2 when it came out uh yeah so i've always you know been i mean i had an xbox 360 i've had a dreamcast and you know i've had a nintendo 64 i played we i played everything but yeah like i had a playstation portable i thought i would use it more like but I got it when I was an adult, and I wasn't like – like, you would have been perfect for, for your traveling and stuff like that. And, I mean, wow. now, as much as you play on your phones and stuff like that, it was it would have been smart. Because I think looking even back at the old – that was, like, the first version of it. It looked like it was ahead of its time because it had internal memory and all this other stuff. The, the game discs were, like, this big, and it was, like, a CD that was, like, in kind of an outer casing. And it was a UMD, an ultramedia disc oh, okay. that you put in the back. Because they, they were launching, like, you could get TV shows and movies on there because like that's what mine came with mine came with spider-man 2 the movie so i could watch it on my playstation portable and the screen was like a nice size and it was like a pretty pretty it was revolution pretty, pretty revolutionary oh, yeah. for the for the time you know and to say it, it came uh, when did it debut uh it was discontinued in 2014 but yeah the release date in north america was 2005 so like you had that screen that like almost it's as big as like yeah, my phone. yeah. I was working at Best Buy at the time, so I know that um, we carried them. It was a it was a pretty big deal. But so, but yeah, and I did have Liberty City stories. That was the one for sure. I know I had. Oh, 
And I had a, a wrestling game only because if you sync them, you got to unlock Jake the Snake Roberts on both your PSP and PlayStation 2 version of it. Because because they did a lot of that intermingling too, or uh, interplay where you could play with them. But back to this game, enough yeah. reminiscent of that. This game was really <laughs> awesome. I mean, but I could see the joys of playing this. Like if uh, I saw the, because looking through for which video to watch, it was like a total of like four and a half, five hours for total gameplay which that's a that's a that's a hefty size game oh so that's the total gameplay for this is about yeah four and a half, four, four and a half to five hours and but i watching some of these fights i could see how it would get a little frustrating like that last one with uh with uh how do you say her name again uh the St- stephanie or something like that the main one <laughs> it's great. uh but yeah so like that seems like that would have been a fight that oh yeah right Persephone, is that how? It, Persephone, yeah, Persephone, Persephone. Yep. yeah. The fight with Persephone, I think at the end would have just been. I could see how that would have been aggravating, but other than that, this game was just gorgeous. It fit the tone of all the other God of Wars that we've watched so far. It's fun to see that uh, you know Kratos had a hand and put an atlas in his place, so to speak, and it was kind of cool because us seeing the first three games, we already saw him interact with Atlas to see him put them there and uh, during the course of the game was really cool to see so we got to see some more you know intertwining of the games which you guys have been very good about telling us about that you know you will find more things come from these games as we as we play when we start with 2018 which you know i'm definitely ready for and even watching this game watching it, uh, the portable version of it it gets me excited for 2018 but this game was awesome i mean they put a lot into it and in i can see why everybody loved it so much Let's see how the uh i mean it got i mean it was in ign's best of 2008 awards for you know best psp game, game. best use of sound i mean the sound was amazing for best this graphics technology best use of sound best games it received a reader's choice award um the hard game fan awarded a best ps game p game for 2008 spike video game awards it was nominated for oh, best yeah. handheld game i mean so this was and you can see why yeah i mean it's you know it's it's so crazy to look back and and see how far graphics have come on these games i mean some of the games we're playing today as as you guys know yeah. i mean it's it's as close to i shouldn't say because you know soon we're gonna have ai ai generated images and it's gonna look like actual people which uh that's a that's a whole nother rabbit hole we can we can go down but yeah this this was a lot of fun i think we just have one more isn't it yeah we're gonna do um not uh this was i believe uh ghost of sparta and then we're gonna that's the next one we're going to do is God of War Ghost of Sparta is the next PSP installment. This came out in 2010. This one that we watched today was uh, 2008 that this one came out. Okay. So, yeah. So, so that's it's, gonna be... it's Ghost of Sparta. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then it's on then to it's, gameplay. One then more. On. Yeah, we're doing one, one more, more, ladies and gentlemen. One more of these. And the answer and I are going to be oh, diving just... into God of War 2018. I have no idea... Uh, what to expect other than an epic story um obviously you know with 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 each advancement in in these games the gameplay can change a little bit um uh controllers i don't really i don't really know what to expect from the 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 controls i i'm i'm going in pretty pretty blind you know if i have to be have to be honest um but uh I'm excited for it. Well, I'm really, really. Pumped. And you guys have been so good in the comments telling us how much we're going to enjoy this and how much we're we're going to enjoy these games, which we have been. This has been so much fun. But you've also told us, hey, you know, they make it look kind of easy on the on That's... these cutscenes and stuff. And gamers' little playground. Yeah, uh, they they did a fine job of getting through this game. I mean, we only saw one deletion, which was kind of funny. That they would include it, but you know, kudos for doing uh, that. I'd be, so I'm. Uh, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. Yeah, like, go, uh, going oh, into, I, I think I picked up Hogwarts Legacy relatively quickly. And if if you haven't played it, played it, um, there's a pretty complex set of controls. You have you know uh, four spells in each spell set in each direction on your D-pad. You can use a different spell set, so you have to assign those. So when you're dueling, you're going back and forth between three or four different spell sets. There's a you know there's, awesome. there's a dive, there's an aversion, the, the duels, the, some of the main bad guys have attacks that can't be 
blocked or countered, so you just have to avoid. I mean, it's it's pretty intense, and I, I felt like I was doing okay. When we got into Red Dead, look, the controls for Red Dead, the first handful of gameplays were just were real clunky for me. Um, you know, after a while, I felt like I was getting more comfortable. If you've seen the stuff, you know, hey, it's now, now I'm fine. But it was just a matter of, like, that first handful of games. So I'm a little nervous going into this, wondering as to whether the, the first few times we're playing this, people are going to be people are gonna be like, oh, not not this again with the bad medicine crew. <laughs> but I think uh, I think I'll be okay-ish. But, but judging by, like, your guys' comments, it seems like, ah, be ready. So it's like I'm sure you guys went through the same frustrations that we'll probably go through. So let us know, too, about this game. Like, was it frustrating play? How was it on the difficulty meter? Like I said, the final boss, I think I would have gotten a little – yeah, got to put the game down. Got to walk away for Keeps a little bit. Keep powering back up. Uh, just you know, so because you've all we've all been there in whatever game we're playing, right? Where you get to the final boss and just I th I thought I had him. I thought I had him, and then as this I'm sure is happening to you too. You try for an hour, hour and a half. You can't beat the boss, so you put it down. You turn the game off. You walk out. You come home the next day from work or school or whatever. You fire it up, beat him the first time. Is that ever because that has happened to me many a time? I mean, I, I remember back in the day. I mean, there was Nintendo games where, like, if you could beat the game, that was like huge, a huge. It wasn't like even something as simple as the original Super Mario Brothers, you know, getting all the way to the end, or or Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Like, if you could actually beat Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson's Punch Out, you were pretty, yeah. you were pretty legendary. It was a lot of people played the game. A lot of people could get to. You know, super macho man, pretty far in the game, but uh, my my mom left on the Nintendo for was it Tetris or Doctor Mario, leaving it on because she had beat the game at her at lunch because she would come home for lunch from work and left it on. We came home from school and like, why is the Nintendo still on? We turned the TV on. She had a little note. Look what mom did on her lunch break. <laughs> Legendary. So it Legendary. was great. But this game is awesome we cannot wait to dive into ghosts of sparta after this and then it, then it's go time it's go time it is go time thank you all that have suggested we do this i hope you had as much fun as we did watching this so for Appleton oak i'm of course the answer we'll catch you again in the arcade and bring those quarters